Five years ago, Pope Benedict stunned the world by announcing his resignation. In gravescente etate, non iam aptas esset monus petrinum eque administrandum. The German pontiff communicated his decision to cardinals in the Vatican in Latin. It shocked the church and the entire world. Vatican correspondent Juliet Lindley joins us from Rome. Juliet, remind us what happened next. Well, it's certainly poignant that Benedict chose the World Day of the Sick to announce that he was resigning the papacy on the grounds of his failing health. He said that he was resigning as of the end of February, and when that 28th of February came round, it was a truly memorable day. The Vatican orchestrated it to perfection, and all of us will never forget those images of the Pope getting in the helicopter and flying off into the sunset towards Castel Gandolfo, the papal countryside residence. Now, within two weeks, uh, a new Pope had been elected, and Jorge Maria Bergoglio took over as Pope Francis on March 13th, 2013. Last week, I remember the Pope Benedict said he's on a pilgrimage home really sort of brought out um, feelings and wondering if he's okay. How is his health? Well, indeed, he wrote that this last stretch of the road is at times tough, and those that we know, even colleagues of ours who have met him in recent times, state precisely that it is his physical frailty that is most startling, if you want, but his lucidity of mind is quite incredible, and we understand that he still says Mass with help, and he sometimes is accompanied by Monsignor Georg Genswein, and he says Mass on a Sunday. And he has also said, as he wrote in the letter to Corriere della Sera, he wrote, he is blessed to be surrounded by a love and a goodness that he hadn't imagined. Pope Benedict was the first Pope to resign in 600 years. I think we forget that. That's 600 years, a big chunk of time. Pope Francis has also talked about the possibility. Did Pope Benedict start a trend? Well, I don't know if we can talk about a trend. He has certainly set a precedent, if you wish, and we've had five years to get used to the idea of having two popes living side by side, if you will, within the Vatican walls. So certainly it's not something that can be ruled out. And the fact that Pope Francis has brought it up on several occasions means that, yes, it's not something we can just say will not happen. Before popes died, now they can possibly even step aside, I guess, if you will, Lauren. Thank you so much, Juliet Lindley, EWTN News Nightly Vatican Correspondent. Thank you.